All right, so I turned this car off because he wasn't paying. And he figured out that I had turned the car off. So this asshole kept the key. This is one of the reasons that I don't want people to know that I have the ability to turn the car off because these people are spiteful and I will say that they will do this frequently. So I had to get it towed, $160, because he lives all the way on the other side of the world. And then I had to get a locksmith, 160 to open up the car. And then I gotta have keys made. This is why I don't want them to know that I have the ability to turn the car off because people are spiteful. Okay, this is the story with this car. We got it cleaned up. I had an asshole who figured out that I turned off the car, so he refused to give me the key back. So this led me to having to have the car towed, having to have a locksmith. Towing was 180. The locksmith was 160 and I had two keys made for 500 bucks because I see this as going to be a problem because a lot of people are figuring out that I turned the car off and this guy wanted to be a complete and other asshole. He was late and he ran over some and he said, I'll give you the key if you pay me for the tire. This clown already owed me money because he wasn't paying his rent. So, this is what's going on with this Kill Switch Chronicles. I'm learning, man. I am learning. All right, here is the Kill Switch Chronicles on this. This guy rented a car, he was paying fine. He paid like 700 bucks and then he became a yard bird. Then I cut the car off and I waited for him to call me back. And he called me back and he knew that I cut the car off. He actually knew that. So we start playing this little game of cat and mouse. The car was in Forest Park of all places like about 35 minutes away from me. And I'm like, okay, just leave the key in the car. And you know, I thought I would get it. And then this guy proceeded to talk like, hey, I had to get a tire. If you pay me for that tire, I will give you the key. And I was like, I snapped. I was like, you dumb fuck. I will have that car towed. I will go ahead and have it opened and I'll get another key. You're not going to, you're not in a position to negotiate, but you will never ever get a car from me. So at that point, <laughs> the rental car relationship disappeared. And uh, I had it towed yesterday. Then I got um, a locksmith to open it up. And then I had my key guy make two keys. And once again, there's a trend here. There is a trend. You get these people who are rent the car and don't have any money. And the car was on E, of course. And this guy actually, like this, this is one of the biggest problems I have. People will run over something and they want me to fix the tire after they cause damage to the tire. This is a big, big issue. Because right now I got someone who has a Range Rover and she said like, hey, the tire went flat. And I like, I went in and it was straight like, look, you ran over something. 
I've ran out that Range Rover six times and there's nothing wrong with the tires. You ran over some and you're responsible for that. I'm not paying for that. And if you don't want to pay, just bring the car back and we'll end the rental. And uh, after that conversation, I haven't heard from her. But this is one of the biggest issues I have. People will run over something and then they will come to me wanting me to fix the tire after they cause damage. Once again, did I say that the car was on E? I'm consistently seeing that I'm having this situation with people who rent these cars. South side, car on E, no money. But this week, it's a pretty good week. Uh, we're trending toward a $25,000 month because I got my utilization up and I got most of my cars. Now, here's the situation right here. Um, what I'm starting to do versus just going ahead and getting cars fixed is I'm letting the business pay for them. So there's supposedly something wrong with this car. I have no clue. And here is the Hall of Shame. Got another BMW with the bumper hanging off. I know that's going to be like $3,000. I'm going to just let that sit. Then we got the Mercedes. Uh, was hit by someone there who has USA insurance. They're going to fix it. And we're good to go. So that happens on the 26th. This car, which was wrecked, I've heard nothing from them. I got to sit down and get on their ass and call them because I think this car is going to be totaled out. And this car, which was wrecked. So we got this situation. And <laughs> I've got in a massive claim for this car. What I think is going to happen is the radiator is damaged. But I'm thinking I'm going to have the radiator replaced, fix that kidney grill, and just rent it out cheap. I bought this car correctly, so I'm not terribly in the hole because I have it for sale on Craigslist and everyone's lowballing me. And I'm just like, uh, no, because here's the math. I can rent this car out for 35 bucks a day and make a G a month. So in six months, because let's see, the car cost 8,100. So in six months, it'll be paid for at 35 bucks a day. And I can rent it out. Um, you know, you can do Uber, you can do Lyft. So more than likely, that's what's gonna happen with this car because everyone is trying to offer me chump change because uh other than the leaking radiator it seems to drive well it has a busted strut kind of what i think is going to happen is uh they're going to cut me a check for about two grand which will put me down to about 4k in this car which means if i rent it out at 35 39 bucks a day uh four months we're good i don't know what i'm going to do with this um the claim got lost and I got to keep, I got to, you know, now that I'm moved, I can start to dig more time in it. But right now we got one, two, three, four, five cars that we cannot rent out of 31. And we've got two in inventory, two in the shop and one in the repair shop. So, yeah, that's what's going on. I don't know how I'm gonna do the Kill Switch Chronicles going forward since I no longer have my driveway, but we will see. Also, just to let you guys know. Also, to let you guys know, we're redoing the corporate papers. The corporate papers is now 4,500 bucks because one of the things I have learned is 
it's just too much for the average person. So what I've done is reactivated Hustlers University. So you can get Hustlers University for $99 a month, 15 payments. And once you're ready to graduate, I will send you a discount code for a thousand bucks off the corporate papers. So I'll be doing some more training on that. I get my internet tomorrow. So we will be getting into that. So that's all I got for you guys. It's a little different, but hey, that's what we got going on.